Hi, seventh grade. This lesson is going to cover uh, text evidence and also writing evidence. Uh, if I can, I'll also give you um, a separate handout so you can practice. So you guys all had two, three questions to answer on the text about slavery. Um, and then you had a CEE, -E, not a CEE. -E -E -E. So the first questions um, on this side, we're going to go over some examples. And I'm going to show you guys why you might have gotten them wrong or why you might have got them right. So in the past, is Douglas explains that slavery is humiliating. So he's trying to make this, he's making this claim, right? Um, and you have to find evidence to support that slavery is humiliating. What evidence could you find that slavery is humiliating? Uh, this student said all hold the same rank. Uh, this evidence is kind of on the right track. Uh, but holding the same rank, it, it's just an incomplete piece of evidence. How is this humiliating? That's what I wrote. Another one was pigs and children hold the same rank. So this is much better because this one is comparing uh, humans to animals. So that is humiliating. So that, that's why this person got that one right. And for the, the question at the bottom, what evidence does Frederick Douglass provide to support that everyone involved and the slave business was hurt and affected by slavery. Uh, I had a new idea of my degraded condition. How does this show that slaves and slave masters are impacted? It doesn't. Okay, so that's one student. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do these right now. Um, this person said line nine and 10 state that we are all ranked together in valuation. Men and women, Old and young, married and single, were ranked with horses. So this person did a much better job with showing how this is, how slavery was just really humiliating uh, because they're being ranked or put together with, with animals. Also, line nine states, I was immediately sent for to be valued with the other property. So being, being labeled property and value means careful review. So this person gave me uh, a little bit of an explanation here. Um, here, this is the correct answer. Frederick Douglass said, at this moment, I saw more clearly than ever to the brutalizing, the insane effects of slavery upon sl both slave and slaveholder, right? So it's very brutal to both slave and slaveholder. Now, he's not obviously saying that it's equal, right? But he's saying that the slaves are treated like animals and the slave masters are themselves impacted because they are doing this cruel deed uh, again i'm going to come back to those being sent to the other property and being valued evaluated to see if they like it or not the problem i have with this is that um i needed the student to use quotes sorry i needed the student to use quotation marks uh, for their evidence. Th their evidence is kind of correct because it says being valued. Um, valuated, sorry, like how much is a person worth? Slavery is humiliating because they were inspected with no, with no indelicate. I don't know what that means. The problem with, the, again, they did a, they did similar to question one, but they're not using quotes. They, I need you to use direct quotes. Okay. Uh, in source A, it states that slaves were taken to get ranked with animals and did not have respect. This doesn't show that it impacts everyone. It just impacts the slaves. Right? Remember, this one is, how does it impact everyone? Everyone, not just the slaves, but also the slave masters. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, if you get a house, you would go to, I, I don't know what that means. So none of this, this evidence does not show, I can't even read it because it's so light, does not show how something is humiliating or embarrassing. The slaves were sold to random people even though, again, it doesn't really talk about um, how it impacts in a negative way, really, both slave and slave owner. Uh, let's go on to this one. We were all ranked together at the valuation. So ranked together. Men and women, old and young, married and single, were ranked with horses, sheep, and swine. So very humiliating to be put um, with animals and ranked and valued because, because they're calling them animals. 
I was immediately sent up to be valued with the other property. So uh, a lot of students pick this one, silver headed age, and because they said they thought that when I meant everyone, I meant old people and young people. That's not what I meant. What I meant was both slave and slaveholder, silver headed age and springy youth maids and ma matrons had to undergo the same indebted inspection. Um, again, it needed to be everyone, not just the slaves. Let's go on to the next one. That is. That is said that his old master, youngest son, Richard, died. He said that in like three years and six months. How does this show, how does this show humiliation or embarrassment towards the slave? It doesn't. It also states that men and women, old and young, so this one's better, right? Because they're being, being, being combined with animals. Um, but he saw more clearly the ever the brutalizing effects of slaves, again, Oh yeah, there you go. Slaves. So this is the two words I was looking for. They got this question right. Uh, next one. We all again. We all ranked together. Good. I was therefore necessary to be evaluation. Good. And then they say there were horses and men, cattle and women, pigs and children, all holding the same rank. So again, I think that it was just a misunderstanding of the question because when I say everyone, I meant slave and slaveholder. Um. I can't really read this one because it's so light. Okay, so this is the this is the one of the issues. I saw more clearly that the ever the brutalizing effects. If something is brutal, it doesn't mean that it's humiliating. It just doesn't. I was in this. Is, I was immediately sent for to be valued. Uh, yes, because many people got hurt from the owner, master, and slave was mostly sent. That's that's this is not relevant at all. Um, okay, so this is one thing that I noticed here. Um, I don't know what this word is. Left no will as to how to deal with his family. How does this show that it's humiliating? So think about it. I'm trying to prove that something is humiliating. I'm going to find evidence for it. Does that show that it's humiliating? The answer is no. This, they did a better job being valued. Uh, the second part is not relevant because here, other pro here again, my feelings rose up in detestation. So if you hate something, it doesn't mean that it's embarrassing. Detestation means you you you're repulsed, you hate something, right? So it's not relevant. Um, again, here slavery upon both slave and slaveholder. Um, again, I hope you guys are understanding what I mean by this. So again, here again, my feelings rose up in the station. Again, that is not relevant. That is not relevant at all, uh, because it shows that that Douglas hated slavery. That doesn't mean that it's embarrassing. That it was humiliating. The question, the the correct evidence is this one, right? Be value with property. Um, I had now a new idea of my degraded, bad or inferior condition. Again, how does that show humiliation? Does it show humiliation? You can argue that it does because you are being degraded, but you're not actually having evidence to show that you're how you're being degraded. And the way that you do that is by saying how they were being valued with animals or how they were inspected like animals. Uh, there were horses, men, cattle, and pigs, children. So again, this evidence only talks about slaves. It doesn't talk about the slave master. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop reviewing those um, because I hope you guys understand what I, I mean by that. Uh, let me go to the the CEE. -E. Okay, so again, the question was, how was slavery humiliating? So you could have said slaves, slavery was humiliating because, so this person wrote slaves were humiliated because, and then this is a huge problem. And I don't know why it happens. I really don't know. Why is there a period after the because? You can't end with because. Because what? Slaves were humiliated because. Please, if you do this, never ever do this. You cannot end a claim with the word because. Because what? You have to have a reason after it. So this person is missing the reason. I have no idea why this happens, but it does sometimes. 
they had to do stuff like uh, a maid, but were not respected. They were hurt if they didn't do right. Kids were compared to pigs and are the same rank as each other. So I understand what this person is doing, but there's a serious problem with the structure, right? They The first thing is they don't cite a source. Well, the first thing is they're clean because it ends with because. That's, that's problem number one. Problem number two is they don't have a source. Problem number three is they don't have direct evidence or a um, like direct evidence from the text. So if you put all those together, this is an end because of that, because there's just so many aspects of the of the writing that are missing that are missing. Um, that's why this person got an end. I understand what they're kind of what they're trying to say. They were hurt. But where does it say that, that they were hurt? In the tech, in the, in the in the evidence, kids were being compared to pigs. It's not just kids. Is it just pigs are being compared to other animals too? Uh, and they don't have an explanation because they don't have evidence. So that's the issue with this one. Let's go on to the next one. Slavery was humiliating because in the text again, you do not. I've said it many times. You do not include the evidence in your claim. And I don't know why that happens, but it, it happens at least a couple times per class. Slavery is humiliating because in the text it states, no, please don't do that. I've asked you not to do that and you still do it. That everyone was ranked. Their evidence is fine. The evidence is kind of fine, actually. They need to end with a, a quote. So it starts here. This is the evidence. Are the world ranked means position of importance? So imagine being ranked with animals and stuff. And stuff. Mm. Also, is there a period here? And then this should be also. Also, the text says that. Okay, so they they state they use the text that I saw more clearly that every brutalizing effect of slavery. This is not relevant at all. It just says that it's it's kind of like when I when I ask you guys this, you could have used one of these by the way in your CEE. Um, if something is brutalizing, doesn't mean that it's embarrassing, right? Embarrassing is how they're being inspected, how they're being put together with animals. And that's so sad. Is this their explanation? I don't know. And all that shows everyone was humiliated by the master because of him being, being ranked with animals. I don't know why this is capitalized like that. Also, it states here, my, again, this is not relevant at all. This is an S minus for the, the reasons, right? The, the claim. Uh, it's is it doesn't it doesn't follow expectations because it says in the text they have evidence that is um, although they have more than one piece of evidence it's not relevant and they have no explanation. On to this one, slavery is humiliating because you were ranked with swines and other animals. Okay, when you say you, you can say slaves were ranked with swine and other animals. Okay, that's a fair claim. In source A, it states being sent to other property and being inspected with no and in, no indelicate. My evidence, why well, don't say my, say this supports the claim because you were brought by other slave owners and being inspected. Um, the issue I had with this was that I, when I asked you guys to cite evidence, I need you to use quotation marks. You need direct quotes. It's that simple. Uh, and their explanation is non-existent. They just repeated the claim or their evidence. Okay. Um, whenever I give you guys a CEE and I see something this short, I know this is going to be a uh, there's going to be a, a an issue. Um, but thank you for doing the in source A. Uh, so I've done a couple ones that struggled. I can't read this one. So okay, actually I will. When I say turn the question around, I mean don't, your claim should not be a question. When I say turn the question around, that means simply means use the words in the question in your claim. How was slavery humiliating? Slavery was humiliating. You see how I, I, I changed it around? Slavery was humiliating. And then you have the word because. And then your reason. 
this person has how is living humiliating when i see that i assume that that's part of their their claim and your claim cannot be a question your claim is a statement that you're going to try to prove and how i know how do i know that this is their claim because after this after they have um this here then they jump into their evidence okay that's how i know that that's their their um their claim according to source a it states that silver-headed age and strong youth matrons uh undergo the same and delicate inspection so their evidence is actually pretty good this is the people and then i can read the rest of it the problem with this is their claim if they had changed their claim, slavery was humiliating because they were treated like animals, right? That would have been, this person probably could have gotten an S, an S or an S plus. All right, let's look at this one. Slavery was humiliating because slaves were seen as having little to no value. Okay. And so say it stays. Men and women, old and young, married and single, were ranked with horses, sheep, and swine. This is their evidence. This evidence demonstrates slavery was humiliating because slaves, you see how this person says, I think, or I, this proves my point. You, you don't include yourself in the writing. This evidence demonstrates that slavery was humiliating because slaves were seen as having little to no value. Because like the evidence similarly stated, they were grouped together with animals. They were not seen as having any value degraded compared to the same rank as animals, not seen as having the value of humans. They saw animals as lowly beings and therefore being in the same rank as them. Was, I don't know what this word says, root? Root for embarrassments and humiliation. They were told their worth was of a creature of no importance. This is amazing. Good job. The next one, uh, I'm just showing you guys, so I'm showing you guys some examples of like really strong writing, but also most, I'm also showing, showing you guys the issues that I've noticed. Okay, the first problem that I know, see, is my opinion. Like, don't, don't, again, do not say according to me or I think, like, don't, don't do that. Slavery is familiar. Again, I told you guys, this happens. Why is there a question for your claim you cannot say you cannot say it can be a question is that simple i know that i know the confusion because students here turn the question around when i mean turn the question around does not mean your claim should be a question so this person actually didn't answer the question so this is this is an automatic end when i see this it's an automatic end because they have no claim there is no claim here it's just they have a question in my opinion, no, that the slavery was humiliating. No reason. So they kind of have another claim here, if you think about it, because they, they're like, oh, yeah, it was humiliating, but they don't say why. According to Social Society States, his old master, young son Richard, died. Also, that like three years, I can't read this. This evidence is not relevant. It doesn't show how it's, how it's humiliating. Again, the evidence that you were supposed to pick was that they were treated like animals, or they were inspected like animals, like looked upon, like the same way how when you go by a horse or a cow, you see if they're if they look healthy, if they have any problems with their with their body, uh, if they look strong, right? If they're gonna do the work that you want them to do, it's the same thing. But the slaves they were inspected like animals because they needed to do a certain job. Okay, so. Just based on the on the claim and based on the evidence is an end, because there's nothing you can do to like to explain anything because your claim is is doesn't work and then your evidence is completely irrelevant. Uh, this one is a strong one. Slavery is humiliating because the slaves were only seen as objects or animals. So this is their claim. And so say, thank you for citing the evidence. It states again, please use quotes. Right, their quote starts there and it ends here. This is a little long for my taste, but they do have quite a bit of text after it. We were all ranked together at the valuation, men and women, all 
Old and young, married and single, were ranked with horses, sheep, and swine. There were something, I don't know what that word is. And men, horses, men, and cattle. So this is talking about, again, the examination, being ranked. Right? This is the best evidence you could have selected. This shows how undervalued the slaves were, being compared to um, to something bad, bar, bad animals, even saying they have the same value or less. Not only that, slaves were seen as objects being part of a estate, needing to be evaluation to see if their usefulness or usefulness. Even needing to give the owner the title of master. Okay, so this is a pretty good job. Uh, let's go on to another couple ones. This person got an M. Slavery was humiliating because slaves were, had equal rights to animals. The past is uh, something states, or say states. Men and women, so here they have their evidence. Let's see how they go with their explanation. This evidence clearly shows that slavery was humiliating because if they were ranked with animals, then they were considered to be the same value as animals. Being the, I can't read that, or animals will be humiliating. This is why slavery is humiliating, because slaves had the same rank as animals. I think their explanation could have been a, could have been a little stronger. They kind of just uh, kind of resummarize the evidence, uh, how they're being valued as animals. But thank you for trying. Um, slavery is humiliating because there was a lack of people who were slaves. There's, that doesn't make sense. right? It, does, it just doesn't think about it. Have it's my claim proving that slavery was humiliating. Just think, just you know, when you get a question and you have a claim, think to, to yourself in your head, does this answer the question? Am I proving that slavery is humiliating? And I don't understand the, I, I actually don't understand the, the claim that they have here. According to Source A states, I saw more clearly than ever the brutalizing effects. So this doesn't show that. Slavery is humiliating at all. It doesn't. Humiliating is when you are embarrassed, when you're treated less than a person, when you are not given respect that you deserve. Right? That is humiliation. And this evidence does not does not does not show that. The problem with this is the the claim, and that's why this person got an end. Right? Whenever I have a claim that just doesn't make sense to me, or it doesn't answer the prompt. It, it's all downhill from there. Like it, it won't, it won't get better because if the claim is weak, the evidence is probably not going to be relevant. Uh, if you think about it, it's kind of like building a skyscraper. If your foundation, the the first couple floors, are falling apart, if your claim is falling apart, everything else kind of doesn't, it won't, it won't work. Um, slavery is familiar because. You had to do the care of things without knowing how to. That doesn't make sense. Slavery is humiliating because you had to take care of things without knowing how to. Where does it say that in the text? How can you support that? Let's see what they pick. According to say the source states, he left no will. This person just doesn't understand the text. He left no, he's talking about how the slave master, he died and left no documents stating who the slaves are going to go to. So now the slaves have to be sold. I, this, this person is thinking about, I don't, I actually don't know. This is completely irrelevant. Let me look at another one. This one looks like they did, they did an okay job. Slavery was committed because of the brutalizing effects of slavery upon the slave and slaveholder. Okay, so... What the issue that I have with this this writing is that they're using words from the text, brutalizing slave and slaveholder. Now, the question was asking how is slavery humiliating, but this person is talking about the slaveholder. So just from that, I know that this person is going to struggle because slavery was not humiliating to slaveholders. It, they they were impacted by it. They made them less. It made them like uh, like savages if you think about it, because they're doing this to other people. But this person is arguing that the slavery is humiliating to slaveholders, and that's incorrect. According to this, the source, A claims it was immediately sent for value. Okay, so that's fine. Property, 
And then here, this evidence is not relevant because it says my feelings rose with the station with slavery. This, this simply says that he hates slavery, but that doesn't show that it's humiliating. I had now a new, uh, okay, from this source, it shows, it tells us how Frederick Douglass had a hatred feeling. Again, it doesn't, sh it shows that he hates it, but it doesn't show that it's humiliating. About slavery and how he also had a bad feeling about it. He also tells us later in the passage about how it's brutalizing effect. Yeah, so that's what the person got a, got a nest on, on this text. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. Slavery is humiliating in maids and matrons. That doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't. Just reading that. I, I don't know if it makes sense to you, right? Slavery is humiliating in maids and matrons. That just doesn't make sense, right? In source A states that Frederick Douglass was born to slavery in Maryland. He escaped also freedom. He became a writer. None of this is relevant. None of this is relevant. It shows us how evidence uh, supports the claim. The problem is that the claim, this maids and matrons doesn't make sense. Um, so again, from, from just the claim, if I read the claim and I'm like, uh, that, I, that, that's confusing. It's, it's going to be an S my, an S or an S minus probably. And then the evidence is completely irrelevant. That's an N. So this turns into an N. It doesn't matter what explanation you have, because if this, the, if this is falling apart, the claim and evidence, then everything else falls apart. Uh, let's see if we have one more that's strong. Yeah. Slavery was humiliating because everyone was ranked together at the valuation. Um, again, when you create a claim, try not to use words that are in the text. Instead, you can say slavery is humiliating because slaves are treated like animals. It doesn't say treated like animals in the text, right? But you know that they are, so say that. In source A, it highlights there were horses. So here they're talking about how they're being... Uh, compared to animals. This shows that this was an embarrassing, good, and humiliating because of the fact that they could mix up different people. They were completely opposite in a strange combination. Not only that, but they would make them all undergo the same indelicate inspection. So this person got a, an S plus because of their explanation. Their explanation is just really not, not there. How is being compared to, how is being examined being poked around, being treated like an animal. How is that embarrassing? Just think about it. Right? Think about it. And, and then write that. Because this person didn't do that. Uh, we might have one more, but I, don't, I can't read this. Okay, so this person got a name. Slavery was humiliating because they were ranked with animals. Okay. According to Sorcey Estates, we were all ranked together. Again, don't, don't do this. And say you could have said slavery was humiliating because they were seen as animals. They were treated like animals uh, instead of using rank, rank. Together in valuation, men and women, old and married. Okay, same. That, that's good evidence. This evidence shows slaves were ranked with, with animals, so they had to be treated uh, really poorly. Careful with your spelling. Um, and forced to do a lot of work for people. All this... All this work had to, to be feeling very tiring and stays humiliating. I, this is probably an S+. Plus. I, I'm not going to change it. But their explanation is, is not the strongest. Okay. So this is what I expect you. This is good. This is, good. This is, this is the last one. Slavery was humiliating because how people on slavery were degraded to the same rank as animals. This is a great claim. According to Sorcey Estates, there were horses, so they have their evidence. And unfortunately, I can't read their explanation. But they had a pretty strong explanation. Again, explanation is show how being ranked with animals is embarrassing. Show how being inspected like an animal is embarrassing. How, how would that make you feel? How is that embarrassing? Is it embarrassing? Of course it is. It's incredibly embarrassing, right? People should not be poked around, seen like animals. These are human beings that have emotions, that can be embarrassed, right? These are human beings who are standing together, old and young, probably in the nude, right? They have no humanity. Their whole humanity has been taken away from them 
but they still have emotions. They like animals. If if you think if you think of a, of, a, of goats or sheep, they're inspected, but they don't they don't have the same emotions as people do, right? And these slaves are being treated like exactly like animals, but they have emotions like human beings, right? It is degrading. They are embarrassing them to the point of of it, it's a crime. Okay, so. Uh, if you are watching this video, you need to get 80% or higher. Uh, I will also be giving you a handout to work on, and it's going to be due on Friday. Uh, before you come back Friday, I will give you guys a retake during lunch and or recess. If you want extra time, come in at lunch. Okay, I'll see you guys later.